All right, hello friends, I'm Adam. Uh, welcome to my blog, which you're already on, so I guess, whatever. Anyway, I'm joined here by our good friend, uh, Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino. Hey, how's it going, guys? You just looked at my hair, is my hair okay? Oh, your hair's fine. Is that right? Yeah. Because you got a good, like, you got a good look going. I, not I don't think I you, do. But, really? You're totally hitting on me. Yeah, I well, you, you got know. a rocking chair on your arm. I do, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was looking at that. I think I looked at your hair to be like, don't look at the rocking chair. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah, else. show it over there. I don't know. People see. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. It's a reminder that wearing's like a rocking chair. It's something to do, but it won't get you anywhere. Thank you. Van Wilder. And this is Childish Gambino signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to use that on the next record. That's cool. I wrote it for um, so, uh, perceptions. Uh, do you consider yourself a an actor turned rapper, rapper turned actor, or do you just put that out there and say, you know what, people are into it, I don't care how they uh, enjoy what is Donald Glover? It's more the third one. I think if you just put yourself out there as just doing stuff, people are more likely to enjoy it. It's weird. I think America just has a harder time with that. In general, I feel like other countries are always like, yeah, he tap dances and he also does this. And he, he also, like, people are more into the idea of, like, you know, the the Slovak Slarvi hour, you know, and yeah, he does yeah. everything, yeah. you know. But I think here, like, like, in America and, I mean, I don't know, how are things in Canada with that? Like, do you guys Good. have a... We like, we like introducing people as multi-talented. Okay. There's the multi-talented Childish Gambino. Really? Yeah. Okay, so like, it might just be an American thing where it's just like... Could be. I don't know. know. I don't know. We're pumped that you're here. That's cool. No, that's Everybody awesome. loves community up here, too. So. Yeah, people do love it. Yeah. Thumbs up, you guys, <laughs> to that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and that was the thing. Like, because I was really into community first, and uh, Mystery Team, I mentioned you before we started doing this, I, I really liked your comedy stuff. So the record caught me off guard a little bit, mm -hmm. because I had heard Freaks and Geeks and bon Bonfire, obviously. Um, but then the record, there's some really heavy stuff in there where you're mm -hmm. it, it seems sometimes like you pulled stuff out of a diary like you've you've it's really intense and yeah and, and heavy in spots and and how has it been are you happy with the reception it's got and are i so am wrong? i am like people i mean like it's a super personal album and i knew that i could i wouldn't i just try and do stuff i won't regret like so and i knew i wouldn't regret being honest like i've never gone back and been like I was too honest there. Like, mm -hmm. I might be embarrassed, <laughs> you know, but like being honest, never, I never am like, oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been who I was at that moment. Um, I definitely could have gone, like, got all fresh Prince of Bel Air and made it like a parody, and it probably would have done fine. And it probably would have been like somewhat, you know, enjoyable because it's just like, oh, yeah, this funny guy did something that's kind of funny, and then, yeah, it's fine. But I was like, I thought it was more interesting to just be like, Okay, this guy just did like, and but I'm also not asking you to be like, he's serious. Like this is he's he lost his mom in a tornado fire. Like I don't want it to be that either. I just wanted to be myself. So tornado yeah. fires, tornado you fires. Watch out for him. You gotta watch out for him, guys. You guys don't get them up here because it's too cold. But man, tornado fires are no joke. They're tornado made of fire. Community. Uh, community. What is the deal? Uh, community. It will be back for the at, at the very least the final like nine ten episodes right. for this season so you will definitely see those you don't have to worry about we'll, it. we'll get a, a conclusion but hopefully it will yeah. carry on so see you guys don't get hulu up here no we so, don't which is upsetting it's worst to me. it's really upsetting but like uh i think those will definitely live on there and they'll be in a dvd form but whether or not we'll get a fourth season is still up in the air. I, and I hate, I don't want to offend you when I say this, but you community. You are a piece of shit. I know. I get that so often, though. It doesn't even bother me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how are they not supposed to be offended? By that? No, no um, community. Community is a show that I'm actually surprised got three seasons because it's so ahead of its time. Much like Freaks and Geeks are undeclared, mm -hmm. shows like that, that only got like one season. I mean, Arrested Development got three. I mean, like, three uh, yeah, is kind of like, point. you know, like three is one of those things where, here's the thing why th it's three. It's because, yeah, like Freaks and Geeks and stuff. Three is one of those numbers where you know, like, oh, it's just not, it's not gonna. It's kind of like once you turn like 18, you're like, oh. I'm gonna be this short forever. Like you're just like you're like no more growth spurts. Like something could change in the first two seasons where it just hit something. But I also think we kind of move past that now because people just watch. People think no one watches Community. Like a lot of people watch Community. It's just DVR'd and DVD. Like that's how people 
absorb that's things. That's how people watch TV that isn't event television, yeah. like, you know, American Idol or X Factor, where you have to watch it that day. Enjoy it so much. Yeah. So, no, anyway, thank you. And Chevy Chase, I mean, it's got, can't I mean, suck yeah. going to work with him. You, right? No, I mean, well, it does. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, it's still Chevy Chase. It's like, you know, it's not George Clooney. Yeah. You know, but it's not, not to say, like, oh, it's, it's, I hate Chevy because he's. Cause he's not, not easy on the eyes. He's not hanging um, out with no, Keebler. No, I love Chevy. He's actually like the coolest dude. He's just like, you know, he's like, it's like going to work with your grandpa. But every once in a while, he'll do something really weird. I'll show you after this, but there's a pic. Like yesterday, I walked out of my trailer uh, to get in the car to go to the airport to come here. And Chevy was in his, he has a very nice car. And he was in the parking lot. And he was just sitting there wearing a cat mask. Just chilling? In the car. And it's just Chevy in the cat mask, just like that. And I was like, Chevy. And he like and the cat mask goes like like that. And I was like, Can I take a picture? And he goes, and I take a picture. I'll show you the picture. It was by far the weirdest thing that I've ever seen. Like you just you just don't expect that. Like I knew it was Chevy because he wears this like awful, like old navy, like uh uh khaki jacket that he always wears everything with just like more pockets than you know anything. And why do just, old people always need so many pockets? I know they're not. I get pills, maybe. I don't know. But like, is, I, he doesn't carry anything in them. No. It's just like something about it's just like you'll you'll never know. What if I'm stranded here? I've survived this long. I don't need to carry shit yeah, anymore. Because no. you feel invincible. I feel invincible. I feel like everything I need is in my wallet. Yeah, me too. You know, yeah. Like so, but old people, you know, they don't know what'll happen. They might break a hip. They have another <laughs> one in their pocket. <laughs> You know? Yeah, that seems like the perfect way to, uh, to say Childish Gambino. Yeah. yeah. Check out the record camp. It's excellent. Uh, one of my favorites of last year. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in March. Thanks, man. You're a good man. Mm. Yeah.